Many of the challenges that I faced when I graduated are also going to be faced by you. In 1984, just like today, the U.S. was struggling through the end of a recession. Banks had failed, people had lost their jobs, and new jobs were hard to come by. And crime and violence touched our neighborhoods. The world circumstances guaranteed that every one of my classmates, including me, would face adversity. Some of us more than others. Today is a great day of celebration, and it's hard as we sit here surrounded by people who love us, think about and imagine the many challenges that we might face as adults. But because of the world you live in, I know each of you will also face adversity, some of you more than others. And I assure you, while you may not realize it at the time, each of the challenges that touch you will be balanced by a blessing. Through your adversity, you will find purpose. This is a hard truth. Life will knock you down. It will leave you down and out without hope if you let it. You'll need to learn to get back up. This has been true in my life. My childhood wasn't much different than yours. Born in Newark, New Jersey, I grew up in an urban environment full of challenges, a broken home, financial hardships, and then, at the age of 13, I lost my father. Gunned down by a machine gun in the street, right in front of me in broad daylight. I held him as he died, covered in blood. Nothing can prepare you for that. But believe me when I tell you that even in that horror, there was hope. That single event became a driving force in my life and gave me a life of purpose. Nothing can make up for that loss, but I was blessed by a stepdad that changed my life, allowed me to regain my faith, and to find the strength to turn away from violence, to break that circle. In that personal crisis, I found the passion to fight to prevent violence and to improve people's lives. I learned the passion to serve. More than 30 years after I graduated, I found strength in my daughter Abigail. Her passion and her love of life, her strength and will and determination, her refusal to give up, and yes, her courage. You see, Abigail was born with a rare and curable disease, spinal muscular atrophy, SMA. And that disease took her life from us way too early. She died at the age of five, just a few years ago. She taught me more about faith and courage than anything else in my entire life. Throughout your life, you will lose loved ones. You will have failures. You will have challenges. Some will seem insurmountable. There will be dark days. That is a hard truth. But I also know that you will have days of great triumph. Days like today. Yes, you may get knocked down, but you will also have many of those great days like today when you will stand very, very tall. Now you stand together to celebrate your academic success. Each of you should be proud of your work and your lives. Each of your families should be proud of what amazing young people you have become. And all of us, your family, your community, and your city should be proud that we have such strong leaders to look forward to. I know your adversity will bring you great triumphs in the future. And it is my prayer that your triumphs greatly outnumber your tragedies. In closing, I ask you to remember these five principles. First, truth. Tell the truth and speak the truth to power no matter what. Values. Stay true to your values and your principles. They give you the wisdom to know the right thing no matter what. Courage. Have the courage to do the right thing, no matter what, and take risks. Better. Become better, not bitter, when you face adversity, no matter what. And finally, believe. Believe in yourselves, in your abilities, in your dreams, in your future, in your community. Believe in your city, no matter what. I've heard it said that a champion 
is just a person who gets up one more time. No matter how hard you are hit, no matter how much it hurts, no matter how bad things feel, get up. Refuse to stay down. Philadelphians are tough. Get up and win, because you have been prepared for triumph, and you are all champions. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you.